You know what I realized about our new friend Sudo? Sudo. Kubo. It rhymes. Coincidence? Why are they bringing in a new character at this stage of the game when we're, the season's about to wrap up? I'm not really sure, but I'm glad that Shirai is a new friend. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Staring contest is quite convenient for establishing an intimate eye-to-eye -eye contact situation. Oh, I thought it's uh, whoever blinks first. <laughs> yeah, you gotta try to make the other person laugh. You blinked. Hey, didn't she lose there? The staring contest that I know, if you blink, you'll lose. But I guess this is just like, maintain eye contact. And then if you look away, then you're out. <laughs> That's all she wanted, man. But will he realize what she means by that? Nope. And he loses. This fucking guy. Date. Date. Come on, let's go somewhere. Come over. What, what, what? Date, date! That's it? Sure. Has he never said good morning to her first? I mean, go ahead! No one's stopping you! Ugh. Don't breathe that shit in. <laughs> Someone's breathing that shit in. Why him? Nothing like spring, blossoming flowers, romantic, I don't know, relationships, and chalk. Wow, he actually noticed Shiraishi there. That's that far away too? That's actually impressive. True. Got a little, little bit over there, but I'm sure Kubo will find it, right? Why are in the boys' bathroom? Is this the boys' bathroom? It's not, right? Right by your head. Right by your ear. Yes. Get it for us. No, no, no. This is why you let her do it. See? <laughs> I got it, baby. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How is this possible? How is he doing this? He doesn't do anything. All he does is exist. And the Riz is insane. It just... There is no Riz. It's the absence of Riz that is the Riz. And Kubo loves that shit. Mm -hmm. Come on. Touch that shit. Sniff it. <laughs> I'll pass. Here you go. Sniff it. No, don't sniff it. That's rude. Sniff it. I think she wouldn't mind. Come on. Take a big sniff. Wow. Kubo's hair. Is this the first time he's touching it? I don't know. <laughs> Something about this position makes me feel like he's going to yank it. Oh, look, look. Come on, you could have grabbed it a bit tighter. You know, just fucking... <laughs> Some girls like that shit. I don't know if Kubo does. It's not really in Shiraishi's brand to do that. Yours. Watch him say something short, and then she's going to cut it all off. That's a non-answer. A very safe answer. <laughs> Who is her? <laughs> I am a fan of the ponytail. The power of the ponytail is strong. Come on, man. What's he gonna pick? Ponytail. Come on. Ooh! She's definitely gonna show him ponytail now. <laughs> What's her only have ponytail forever now? For the rest of the show. Already, she's putting it up. Tomorrow and every day after. What is it with ponytail? So many guys like about it. I mean, when I think about a ponytail, there is some kind of implication that some girls only do when she puts her hair up. It's like a sign. I see that shit and I'm like, neuron activation. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, why are, you, why are you looking at her teeth? <laughs> I remember, Big Sis. <laughs> Look, that's a good thing. If Big Sis is not stacked, there's hope for Kubo too, you know? Again, no, we've done this before, 100%. Did you know that your height actually uh, increases after you sleep? Because, like, your spine basically decompresses. And then in the morning, it's like the longest it can be, apparently. I don't know if that's true. 
and throughout the day, you know, it gets a little bit more compressed and kind of curved or whatnot. But during the morning, after you've slept, like, it should be technically the longest. A dramatic step. <laughs> what is this? Smell her hair! Compliment her! Oh, actually quite a bit taller. Even the comparison you can see right there. Is that six inches though? Because she specifically mentioned, you know? She wants a difference of six inches. That's the... <laughs> Something about six inches. I gotta stop saying that. She said it though. That's the ideal height difference, right? Shiraishi. Good morning. Is this the next day right after? You gotta say good morning. There it is. Oh my god. He said good morning to me. You forgot about it? That's kind of rare. I thought she'd be like, I don't know. I thought she'd be looking forward to it the most. What do you mean see you? That's it? You're not gonna... Alright, bye. Mm. Different hairstyle, whoa. Twin braids. I wanted to think like, that's in the, you know, the pigtails. Though. That, no, that's called a pigtail, right? And what are what are these called? You know the twin tails. Oh, oh. Well, you know, if another girl wears your PE jacket, that's like a big deal. You know, that's kind of intimate. That's like, oh, that's my girl. You know? Hey, yo, we. Okay, neuron activation. <laughs> Give it to her. You know what the best way to wear jackets are? You wear like a cape. You don't put your arms through the sleeves. You see One Piece, the admirals, all the navy. All the cool guys wear their jackets like that. He is taller. <laughs> Jesus! Je <laughs> that, was, that was like a frame, but the amount of detail there <laughs> on the thigh and the crotch area. <laughs> that was... <laughs> this show hits you with fan service out of fucking nowhere. Like the big sis moment too, but that it's like, where the fuck did that come from? I thought this is an innocent and pure show. The author is selling out and... I have no complaints. All anime girls can eat whatever they want and never gain weight. Don't worry! Big Sis' genetics actually? That's not true. <laughs> she, they caught on. But just because Big Sis is stacked doesn't mean that you will be either, right? I'm not sure how that works to genetics for tit size, but... You know siblings, just because one person is tall doesn't mean the other one will be. <laughs> Liar. Liar. You should have just said it straight up, it's Shiraishi's. She's always quick to, you know, catch on. Can she connect the dots? Oh? Not yet. See? Wearing a significant other's jacket is very intimate. <laughs> she could notice the smell though. <laughs> smell of what? It's sweat? Smell that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Deep sniff. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what I'm talking about. Big sis. She is so gifted. Look at them. Bazong. What is she looking at? Is she looking at magazines on how to grow her tits? Doesn't those magazines have the, the, those kind of like bullshit um, advertisement? Like all like young girls will be in the supermarket and they'll see like a magazine it's like for women it's like mature it's like how to increase your breast size how to make guys come fast like bullshit articles like that i remember seeing magazines like that shit in like superstores when i was a kid hmm? boo big sis oh big sis what's up hello tickle us more please tickle us more no don't be sorry that was amazing she doesn't remember. I wonder if she really doesn't. You remember? You, you remember that? Then Bix has got that MILF outfit on too. Oh. Big brother. Little brother. Kinda true. Maybe a Seita would notice though. Can Seita see you because you're family? What kind of sentence is that? <laughs> Can he see you because you're family? I know what they're trying to say, but it's so ridiculous. Careful what the truth. But that car was about to run him over. Is he? About him crossing the street? <laughs> Getting a little carton of little eggs. No, he got it. <laughs> the store is just called Wife. 
Big sis? Are you? Yeah, look at Pixis's outfit. This is such a mature MILF outfit, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Big brother! Good job. Don't worry, Seta. We stalked you every step to the store. <laughs> Hello. So lucky. So lucky. That should be me, goddammit! Oh. <laughs> so cute. Wonder why eggs, though. They're such a delicate... Exactly. You... You fucking trip, you drop it. That'll just all break, dude. Every one of them broke. <laughs> Almost all. Oh no, she killed all the eggs. Oh, oh big sis in a different hairstyle. Longer, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, Big hair, long, big sis, though. Big hair. Long hair, big sis. Yeah, you can just, like, technically... Even though they're broken, as long as you, like, take everything but the shells and put it on the, pe like, the frying pan, it should be fine. Headpads? We should definitely give it a try, but it's so... Like, I would expect her to give Shiraishi. The head pad. I just can't see him doing that to her. The dynamic is kind of different. Oh, but this way. Oh, 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 oh. big god damn it! This should have been me. Pet it more. Come on. Pet it more. Come on. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That little pout there. See? A little head pad, and she might feel better. Where did the cat ear and tail come from? See? It's wagging. Big sis, really laying down the foundation, being the ultimate wing girl. Help Shiraishi out. Hey. Ooh, it might be working. Well, Shiraishi himself has to actually step up and do it. Maybe this is season finale material. Are you telling me the season finale will be Shiraishi working up the courage to fucking pat her hair? Really? I mean, knowing this show... And how limited the development's gonna be, I can see it. It's looking like we have an end goal in sight for the season finale. Is it gonna be a kiss? No. Is it gonna be hand-holding? Maybe. But I think it actually might be a head pad in the making. Now, this show, knowing how prudent should I achieve, knowing how reserved and calm and collected and shy he is, he's never gonna fucking make the courage of the kiss, let alone, like, old hands. But a head pad. Head pat might be possible, or we get the fucking reversal, and he gets too nervous, and then Kubo fucking head pats us back. It works out either way, but hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.